made America's future for that of any other country in the world. And who could possibly have so little faith in our American people that they would trade our tomorrow for our yesterday? I'll give you a hint. They put on quite a production in New York a few weeks ago. You, you, you might even call it slick. A, st a stone's, a stone's throw from Broadway it was, and how appropriate. Over and over they told us they are not the party they were. They kept telling us with straight face that they're for family values. They're for a strong America. They're for less intrusive government. And they call me an actor. <laughs> we mustn't forget, even if they would like to, the very different America that existed just 12 years ago. An America with 21% interest rates and back-to-back -back years of double-digit inflation. An America, an America where mortgage payments doubled, paychecks plunged, and motorists sat in gas lines. An America whose leaders told us it was our own fault, that ours was a future of scarcity and sacrifice and that what we really needed was another good dose of government control and higher taxes. It wasn't, it wasn't so long ago that the world was a far more dangerous place as well. It was a world where aggressive Soviet communism was on the rise and America's strength was in decline. It was a world where our children came of age under the threat of nuclear holocaust. It was a world where our leaders told us that standing up to aggressors was dangerous. I, I heard those speakers at that other convention saying, we won the Cold War. And I couldn't help wondering just who exactly do they mean by we? If we, ever, if we ever hear the Democrats quoting that passage by Lincoln and acting like they mean it, then, my friends, we will know that the opposition has really changed. Until then, when we see all that rhetorical smoke billowing out from the Democrats, well, ladies and gentlemen, I'd follow the example of their nominee, don't inhale. But listen to me, this fellow they've nominated claims he's the new Thomas Jefferson. Well, let me tell you something. I knew Thomas Jefferson. He was a friend of mine, and Governor, you're no Thomas Jefferson.